all right welcome back now how do we answer cos x over 2 okay now this is actually the half angle formula and um, if you refer to the half angle formula you will see that cos x over 2 is actually um, a number of things so uh, let's let's write it here so that it's clearer so um, you will see that cos a is equals to actually a is not half angle you know uh, but well, it is technically half because normally it's cos 2a for double. So cos a, it's actually uh, 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 half of it. But the half is actually not here. The half is actually here. Cos a is actually cos square a over 2 minus sine square a over 2. It is also 1 minus 2 sine square a over 2. And it is also... 2 cos square a over 2 minus 1. So why do we say this is the half angle formula? All right, because these are all halved. Yeah, the angle within the formula is half. So you are trying to find x over 2, right? You're trying to find x over 2. So the x over 2 is actually found here within the formula. Now you can actually use this cos square a over 2, uh, but but we, we, we don't want to use sine square, you know, that we don't want to have uh, unnecessary things in the equation. So I'm going to definitely pick this as the equation that I want to form in order to find cos x over 2. I'm going to pick this because this is cos square a over 2, which is half the angle. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do this, yeah? Now, to um, form your equation, we write it like that. We're going to use this. Cos of x would equal to 2 cos square x over 2 minus 1. So cos x according to the triangle, because we're still answering based on the triangle, cos x would be negative 12 over 13 equals to 2. Now, cos square x over 2 is what we're looking for. We're trying to find x over 2. Oh, an another thing that I want you to pay close attention, yeah? Please pay close attention. Let's pick a, a big striking uh, color for you to uh, notice this. A lot of students will actually think that cos x over 2 is actually half of cos x, which is negative 12 over 13, right? Cos x is negative 12 over 13, and they will just divide it by half. <laughs> okay, it is not correct. Yeah, this is wrong because the the divided by 2 belongs to the angle x. It is not half of cos x. This is not cos x over 2. This is different. You know, this is two different things. The over 2 belongs to the x. So this is incorrect and this 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 is definitely not this. All right, so uh, uh, this is something that I want you to pay attention. So now let's come back to this. Um, Sorry, got distracted a bit. Just thought of this this thing. A lot of students uh, will forget about this. Uh, they think it is this. Now, let's come back here. 2. So, now we actually do not know cos square x over 2, which is what we're trying to find, x over 2. So, just write it down. Cos square x over 2 minus 1. So, now you are supposed to treat this as the unknown. This is your unknown. This whole thing. So, shift everything else away. That's negative 12 over 13 plus 1 divided by 2 would equal to cos square x over 2. Okay, so now cos square x over 2 is equals to 1 over 26. You're looking for cos x over 2, so square root and square root. So that will give you cos of x over 2 is equals to square root of... So when you square root something, it has to be a plus minus, right? However, look at this. It says x is obtuse. Since x is obtuse and it is in the second quadrant, cos <coughs> is cos positive or negative in the second quadrant. <coughs> right now, cos is negative in the second quadrant. So now we, we may be tempted to pick the negative, but there's one more thing that you have to take into consideration. It is a half. It's x over 2, which means, right, um, well, it is actually given that x is in between, uh, it's less than 180, and it is uh, between 80 and uh, 180 and 90, right? Because that's in the second quadrant. Obtuse means this. However, this is x over 2. Okay, this is x over 2. So you've got to divide everything with 2. So that means, right, x over 2 would be between 45 and 90. So therefore, 
the value of x over 2 should be something that is between quadrant 1 and quadrant 1 is always a positive. So therefore, your answer should be cos x over 2 should be positive 1 over 26 square root. Okay, so that is your final answer. Now, do remember that you're not required to find the angle x. So you don't have to do the step shift cos on your calculator to find the angle x yeah you just required to find the value of cos x over 2 so um well that is uh, uh about it about this particular question so what you do have to pay close attention when you reach here is this the quadrant that is stated in the question but yet because it is a half you have to remember that all the limits or the range of the angles are actually halved so then you pick the appropriate quadrant and uh, then you will know whether it's a positive or negative. All right. So hope this helps you to understand trigonometry more. Um, this is actually a popular question. Yeah. Uh, the way they ask it, given something, something, and you're supposed to form the triangle yourself. And then without calculator, find the value of, they can give you double angle, half angle, or they may give you addition uh, formula that is... Um, what I've taught in, uh, uh, in another video. Alright, so this is pretty popular in uh, trigonometry paper 1 question. Alright, in paper 2, you will sketch graph, but over here, it's uh, a common paper 1 question. Alright, so I'll see you in other video tutorials.